Hello everyone, I am Tanvi Kaur and I welcome you to this series called Finance Current Affairs. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. So before moving on to question number one, if you are there for the very first time, please do subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon so that you can be notified about all our upcoming videos. You can also join our telegram group, the link is in the description below. The free PDFs of these sessions will be provided to you through Telegram group only. Moving to question number one then, which says, identify the 2021 leak of 11.9 million documents and files exposing the secret wealth and dealings of world leaders, politicians, billionaires. So this data was obtained by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists and they leaked the records which come from 14 offshore firms uh, which uh, have be which have their clients and uh, uh, those clients seek to keep the financial information financial activities in shadows so you have to identify the name of that 2021 leak we have had numerous leaks over time where the information related to different activities carried out by people worldwide were exposed Okay, we had the Panama paper leak, we had the Paradise paper leak and recently what's going on in news is the Pandora paper leak. So answer to this question is option B, Pandora paper leak. Aajkal ye kaafi zada news mein hai ki kaise logo ne jo bhi internationally apne transactions kiya hoi hai, internationally assets hold karke rakhe hoi hai, investments ki hoi hai, unse related documents ab public mein leak kar diye hai, is firm ne jiska naam hai International Consortium of Investigative journalist so ye information jo hai ye kis cheez se related hai is it legal or illegal to do businesses elsewhere to set up firms elsewhere to set up entities elsewhere or there are some illegal things involved so we are going to discuss all this in today's session so moving to the pandora papers leak what are these pandora papers pandora papers actually refers to one uh, to 11.9 million documents and files which have been leaked recently by this firm called Invest International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. So what this very firm did, using around 600 journalists, it collected information from 117 countries. Okay, it took the information from 14 powerful, 14 offshore firms which further had numerous shell companies all around the world. So these companies, what they do, they basically are the legal firms or some financial firms which have a track of the transactions which people are undertaking in those countries. Okay, you are, you might be having some offshore entity, some, you might be holding some assets offshore, some trusts elsewhere. So the information of clients is there with numerous legal and financial firms. So 40, uh, for, out of these firms, the information has been taken from 14 firms. This information was meant to be kept confidential. It's confidential rakhna tha in information ko, but kisi tarah se journalist ke through is firm ne in 14 companies se information nikal li aur is information ko leak kar diya hai public mein. Somehow this international consortium of investigative journalists was able to extract the uh, confidential information of the clients of these firms, uh, these offshore service firms, and they have leaked this information in public. What does this information relate to? It's all about the ultimate ownership of assets in private offshore trusts and investments like cash, shareholding, real estate. Often what people do, they make investments in other countries, they open some offshore entities, they have some trusts elsewhere in other countries, okay. This way they are having some, maintaining some cash in other countries or they are having some assets in other countries, some shareholdings, some real estate properties. So, in different countries, people keep assets and keep their properties, 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 keep their properties. So, all these related documents have All that information has been leaked through this set of papers which is known as the Pandora papers. Alright, so in this very list there are names of some Indian people as well, some major prominent uh, national, some major prominent people from India whose 
uh, offshore assets or offshore trusts has been highlighted in this Pandora Papers include Mr. Anil Ambani, Mr. Jackie Shroff, Kiran Mazumdar Shaw, uh, Mr. Sachin Tindulkar and many more are there in the list. So, Pandora Papers mein jo naam leak hoi hai, jinke uh, assets ke baare mein, offshore trusts ke baare mein information leak hoi hai, un mein ye kuch jane maane log bhi chamil hai, jaysay ki uh, Mr. Sachin Tindulkar, Anil Ambani, Kiran Mazumdar Shaw and many more are there on the list. 300 se zyada log hai, जिनका इस लिस्ट में नाम आया है सी इट्स नॉट ऑलवेज इन लीगल टू हैव ऑफ शोर ट्रस्ट और ऑफ शोर एंटिटीज बट at times people often have their holdings elsewhere to evade taxes so abhi tak ye nahi pata ki ye jo logo ke naam samne aaye hain jinki properties jinke assets jinki entities kisi aur country mein hain ye legitimate purposes se ke liye hai ki illegitimate purposes ke liye ye abhi tak nahi pata laga hai ye government investigations ke baad pata lagega there might be the cases where they were they are legally having these assets over there they are not evading the taxes but if their intention was to evade the taxes and with illegitimate purposes they have done so then obviously they will be penalized so government will carry out investigations to know what is the true picture so talking about what these paper reveal so these paper reveal how rich famous some notorious and many of them who are already under the radar of investigative agencies what they do they set up some multi layered trust structures in jurisdictions where the taxes our uh, tax policy is quite easy so in order to evade taxes what people often do various rich people who have a lot of money who want to who have some assets elsewhere who want to hide their assets who want to avoid paying taxes such people using complex structures they open trusts elsewhere open offshore entities elsewhere this way they are able to hide their assets which they have ठीक है मुश कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रक्चर्स वाले ट्रस्ट्स या ऑफशोर एंटिटीज वो बना लेते हैं जिससे उनको टैक्स ना देना पड़े वो टैक्स पेयर्स से टैक्स कलेक्टर्स से छुप सके या अपने असेट्स को वो क्रेडिटर्स वगैरह से छुपा सके द पर्पस ऑफ दिस फॉर विच ट्रस्ट आर सेटअप आर मेनी सम आर जेन्यून ऑल्सो बट सम आर इन करेक्ट वंस ऑल्सो कुछ जेन्यून रीजन्स की वजह से लोग अलग अलग ट्रस्ट बनाते हैं ऑफिशियल एंटिटीज बनाते हैं जो कि लीगल है बट देर आर सम केसेज वेयर पीपल ट्राई टू हाइड देयर असेट्स हाइड देयर आइडेंटिटीज डिस्टेंस देम सेल्स एंड दिस इज डन सो दैट द टैक्स अथॉरिटीज आर नॉट एबल टू रीच देम और दे ट्राई टू सेफ गार्ड देयर असेट्स लाइक कैश शेयर होल्डिंग्स फ्रॉम द क्रेडिटर्स एंड लॉ एंड फोर्सर्स सो दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू शो टू द क्रेडिटर्स दैट दे आर हैविंग द मनी दे शो दे रिमीज दैट दे आर नॉट हैविंग द असेट्स दे आर नॉट हैविंग मनी टू रीपे सो ड्यू टू दीज इंटेंशन ऑल्सो पीपल ओपन ट्रस्ट और ऑफशोर एंटिटीज एल्सवेयर recently uh, this also came up that mr anil ambani has declared that he is not having any assets to pay off his debtors but now during this pandora paper reveal what came into picture was that he is also having trusts and offshore entities elsewhere to ye samne aaya hai ki anil ambani ne mr anil ambani ne tab to keh diya tha ki mere paas kuch nahi hai debt repay karne ke liye ye prove hua tha but ab pandora paper se reveal ho raha hai ki dusri countries pe unke bhi assets hain so kitna true hai ye how true is that it's still not clear okay because of the complexity and the secrecy of the offshore system it's not possible to know how much of that wealth is tied to tax evasion and other crimes and how much comes from the legitimate sources so itna complex structure hai itni secrecy rehti hai jab aap offshore entity kholte ho offshore koi trust banate ho ki pata laga pana bahut mushkil hai ki tax evade ho raha hai ya aapne legally sab kaam kiya hai legally hi wo entity kholi hai tax bachane ke chakkar mein ya koi criminal activity involved nahi hai to itni complexity ki wajah se itni secrecy ki wajah se cheeze pata nahi lag pati obviously when the government will intervene some things might come into picture okay the pandora papers reveal the complex networks of companies that are set up across borders resulting in hidden ownership of money and assets so people what they do this they set up complex companies elsewhere so that they are able to hide the money the assets which they have from the tax authorities from the creditors and other such people so we have had different leaks earlier as well we had the panama papers leak we had the paradise papers leak and now came the pandora papers so how is it different when that panama papers and paradise paper leaks came into picture they basically focused more on just setting up of the offshore entities to be able to hide your assets or avoid paying the taxes but this 
बट आफ्टर दिस दीज काइंड ऑफ लीक्स हैपन द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन वर टाइटन सो पैंडोरा पेपर हैज रिवील दैट डिस्पाइट ऑफ टाइटनिंग ऑफ द रूल्स देर आर स्टिल एक्टिविटीज लाइक मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग टेररिज्म फंडिंग टैक्स रिविजन गोइंग ऑन सो इट हैज हाईलाइटेड द पिक्चर ऑफ दोज पीपल दोज एंटिटीज हु हैव नॉट ओनली ओपन द ऑफ श्योर कंपनीज बट अलॉन्ग साइड दे आर ऑल्सो यूजिंग द ट्रस्ट to hide their money to hide their assets so kaise offshore entities ke sath sath wo trusts bana ke bhi aise uh, wrong doings kar rahe hain uski picture bhi samne aayi hai in documents se ab uh, i am saying once again it's still not clear whether that is done for a legitimate purpose legal purpose or not okay so kitna sach hai kitna jhoot hai ye investigations ke baad pata lagega these papers have basically encouraged the global investigations to go on worldwide globally investigations ho rahi hain is matter pe trusts can be set up what people do they usually set up the trusts in some tax haven so that they can avoid paying the taxes or they can get the tax advantage now the question arises they are opening the trusts elsewhere what is a trust is it legal or is it illegal if it is legal then why is this major issue arising agar ye sab kuch legal hi hai to itna bada issue kyu ban raha hai so talking about a trust it's basically a arrangement where third party called the trustee holds the assets on behalf of individuals or organizations that are to benefit from it suppose someone has some assets okay he wants to hold some asset in say british virgin islands so a person from india if he wants to have some assets in british virgin islands what he can do is in he can buy those assets but hold them in the name of some third party that third party is the trustee who will hold the assets on behalf of some beneficiary so uh, suppose there is some settler the ones who is creating these assets he might hope be holding those assets in the other country in the name of the trustee some third party for the benefit of some beneficiaries so if this thing if we talk about this thing this thing can be done legally also and, and illegally also usually people open trusts for genuine estate planning अब किसी के पास प्रॉपर्टी है वो चाहता है कि फ्यूचर में उनकी प्रॉपर्टी उनकी फैमिली के विद इन ही रहे उसकी जो शेयर होल्डिंग्स हैं उनकी कंपनी की वो उनके फैमिली के विद इन ही रहे तो किसी के अगर सपोज फोर चिल्ड्रन है देर आर फोर सिबलिंग्स एंड व्हाट द फादर डिसाइड्स दैट आफ्टर हिम इफ दे हैव टू एक्वायर दीज असेट्स दीज शेयर्स ओके इफ वन ऑफ देम विल इवन वॉन्ट टू सेल द शेयर्स ही फर्स्ट हैज टू गिव द ऑप्शन टू दी अदर मेम्बर्स एंड इफ दे डिनाई दे Then only the assets will be sold to some third party, or the securities will be sold to some other party. This is to make sure that the ownership stays within the family. So such a thing is basically a legitimate trust. अगर चार भाई बहन हैं जिनको उनके फादर चाहते हैं कि प्रॉपर्टी मिले लेकिन फ्यूचर में जाके अगर उनमें से कोई भी अपने शेयर सेल करना चाहता है तो एक ऐसी ट्रस्ट बना दी कि वो पहले उन बाकी तीन भाई बहनों को ऑप्शन देगा कि आप खरीदना चाहते हो वो मना करेंगे तभी वो कहीं और किसी और पार्टी को सेल कर सकता है सो so, इसमें ऑब्जेक्टिव इस ट्रस्ट का है कि ओनरशिप फैमिली के पास ही रहे अब ऐसे टाइप की जो ओनरशिप्स होती हैं ऐसे टाइप की जो ट्रस्ट ट्रस्ट क्रिएट होती है वो लेजिटिमेट है दे आर फॉर लीगल पर्पज दे आर अलाउड there are also other valid reasons like you might want to hold assets in other country because your country faces a lot of criminal attacks your country has an unstable government so you can hold these assets elsewhere you can open trusts elsewhere but the things become illegal when you try to engage yourself in some wrong doing some criminal activities you hide some money hide your income in order to evade the taxes you protect your wealth from the law enforcers you insulate hide your assets from the creditors when you have to actually pay them aapko uh, debt chukana hai apna aapko creditors ko pay karna hai aap unhe dikha rahe ho ki main to bhaiya bankrupt ho gaya hu mere paas assets hai hi nahi aapko pay back karne ke liye bhale hi aapne kahi aur country mein assets hold karke rakhe ho aap chupa rahe ho unhe so these are illegal cases okay this is when the things become illegal so is uh, a set of papers mein panama papers mein ye to pata information pata lag gayi ki iske is country mein itne assets hain lekin wo legal hai illegal hai wo sab information nahi pata lagi in papers se so what's the solution what's the way forward the government has promised that it will carry out the investigations it will into the revelations of pandora papers so jo bhi pandora papers ne reveal kiya hai us pe investigations hongi a multi agency probe have, has also begun ek agency set ki gayi hai where there are representatives from the central board of direct taxation enforcement directorate rbi financial intelligence unit 
और ये सब रिप्रेजेंटेटिव अब इन्वेस्टिगेशन करेंगे गवर्नमेंट हैज ऑल्सो डिसाइडेड टू इंगेज विद फॉरन जुरिस्टिक्शन टू गेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू टैक्स पेयर्स एंड एंटिटीज सो ओवरऑल अब इन्वेस्टिगेशन होगा हो सकता है जो ये लोगों के नाम सामने आए हैं इन्होंने कुछ इनलीगल किया हो और ये भी हो सकता है कि द थिंग्स आर क्वाइट लीगल सो अब इन्वेस्टिगेशन के थ्रू सामने आएंगी चीज़ें अगर चीज़ें छुपाई ना जाए ऑब्वियसली ओके सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड दिस टॉपिक ऑफ पैंडोरा पेपर लीक Now moving on to next question. SEBI has recently decided on the discontinuation of the usage of pool accounts for transactions in mutual funds. Identify the correct statements in this regard. So let's discuss about this very decision of SEBI. See what used to happen. First of all, we you we must know what are mutual funds. It's basically a financial instrument where money of different people are pooled together and then it is invested in different securities, bonds and different assets. Okay. we discussed about mutual funds in the last session as well so earlier what used to happen there are numerous brokers online platforms mutual fund distributors who basically offer you these mutual funds so what these people used to do they used to collect the money from the investors from the people like us and used to keep it in their bank account pool it in their bank account and later on they used to transfer it to the fund houses the mutual fund schemes सो so, ये जो ब्रोकर्स हैं ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म्स हैं म्यूचुअल फंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स हैं ये लोगों से पैसा लेके अपने बैंक अकाउंट में रखते थे और बाद में वहाँ से पैसा यूज़ करके उसको म्यूचुअल फंड स्कीम में के अकाउंट में बेसिकली ट्रांसफ़र करते थे सो नाउ वॉट से बी हैज डिसाइडेड दैट नाउ दीज ब्रोकर्स दीज ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म्स दे विल नॉट बी एबल टू पोल द मनी इन देयर ओन बैंक अकाउंट दे हैव टू डायरेक्टली ट्रांसफर द मनी टू दी म्यूचुअल फंड स्कीम ओके so if the money is to be provided then it will be directly provided to the mutual fund scheme and if the units of mutual funds are to be issued to the people they will be directly issued to them in their bank account so jo bhi paisa jayega aayega wo directly investor se jayega mutual fund scheme mein aur mutual fund scheme se kuch paisa agar aane hai to wo directly investor ke account mein jayega ab ye jo intermediaries hote hain these intermediaries will not be allowed to keep the money in their bank account it is done for basically the security purpose so that there are no counter party risks to be dealt with okay so this has what this is what has been mentioned over here similarly if the units of mutual funds are to be transferred agar aapko mutual funds koi khareedta hai aapko usko mutual fund ki units issue karne hai ya wo usko sell karta hai to aapko unse wo wapas lene hai to ye jo units ka transfer hai ye bhi directly mutual fund scheme ke account se investor ke account mein hoga okay so if there are units that are to be credited to the investors account they will be done directly and when units are to be redeemed they will be redeemed and travel to the account of fund house directly ये ब्रोकर्स ऑनलाइन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स इनके अकाउंट में पैसा या म्यूचुअल फंड यूनिट्स ट्रांसफर नहीं होंगे एंड दीज रूल्स विल बी इफेक्टिव फ्रॉम अप्रैल फर्स्ट 2022 ट्वेंटी दिस डिसीजन हैज बीन टेकन टू मेक श्योर दैट दे डोंट हैव टू डील विद द काउंटर पार्टी रिस्क इफ यू आर कीपिंग द मनी इन द अकाउंट ऑफ दीज ब्रोकर इट्स क्वाइट नॉट सेफ ओके देर आर रिस्क इन्वॉल्व एट दैट पार्टी माई डिफॉल्ट so the objective is to protect the interest of investors in investors ke interest mein ye decision liya gaya hai basically it will ensure better regulation of the securities market ensure better development so if we move back to the question and identify the correct statements so first one says no mutual fund distributor investor advisor can pool money in a bank account and tra then transfer it to fund house this is correct second says investors money should be directly credited to the bank account of the mutual fund scheme this is also correct third says the units of mutual funds will be directly credited to the investors account without intermediary pooling by the distributor this is also correct so all statements are correct answer is option e now moving on to last question which says rbi has decided to supersede boards of two companies after dhfl due to governance concerns and the defaults by these aposit companies it will initiate the process of resolution of two nbfcs which two nbfcs under ibc rules 2019 so they are asking the names of two nbfcs uh, on whom the uh, rbi has taken the decision that it will be superseding its their boards and now they will go through the ibc procedure for resolution in order to generate some money to pay back the creditors 
so the names of these two companies are srei infrastructure limited finance limited and equipment finance limited answer is option d so let us discuss a bit about this thing which was recently there on the rbi website and in the newspapers as well सो आर बी आई ने ये क्या डिसीजन लिया है जो अब काफ़ी ज़्यादा न्यूज़ में आर बी आई की वेबसाइट में हमें देखने को मिल रहा है आर बी आई ने डिसाइड किया है कि वो दो कंपनियों के बोर्ड्स को सुपरसीड करेगा और ये दो कंपनियां अब आगे आई बी सी के अंडर रेजोल्यूशन में जाएंगी बिकॉज वो क्रेडिटर्स को पे नहीं कर पा रही हैं ओके गवर्नेंस इशूज आ रहे हैं इन कंपनीज में और ये दो कंपनीज कौन सी हैं एस आर ई आई इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फाइनेंस लिमिटेड एंड एस आर ई आई इक्विपमेंट फाइनेंस लिमिटेड so in exercise with the powers given to rbi under the rbi act uh, it has decided that it will supersede the boards of these two companies so talking about a fin- superseding a finance for a firms board this has been done second time earlier dhfl was the company which was into similar kind of a problem and rbi has superseded its board and now it's running successfully under the piraman enterprises so now these two srei companies will be resolved by rbi so what it has done it why it has taken this decision this decision comes after srei group creditors denied request by company to delay legal or other kinds of action to recover dues of 35000 crore so dues are there of around 35000 crores rupees the companies have to pay around this much amount which they have not yet paid back and the creditors have denied any further delay क्रेडिटर्स अब अलाउ नहीं कर रहे और रिक्वेस्ट किया उनको और थोड़ा टाइम दिया जाए पे बैक करने के लिए दे वॉन्ट देयर मनी बैक सो आर बी आई हैज़ टेकन अ डिसीजन टू मेक श्योर दैट द गवर्नेंस कंसर्न आर हैंडल्ड ओके द डिफॉल्ट विच आर हैपनिंग कैन बी हैंडल्ड नाउ द रिजर्व बैंक हैज ऑल्सो शोन इट्स इंटेंशन दैट नाउ दे विल इनिशिएट द प्रोसेस ऑफ रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ दीज टू फॉर्म्स अंडर insolvency and bankruptcy rules so all the insolvency liquidation proceedings will now happen so they will need an nclt approval okay where the, they will appoint a insolvency resolution professional who will be helping out in this resolution process so an administrator is to be appointed and who has been appointed the as the administrator shri rajneesh sharma who is the ex chief general manager of bank of baroda under him an advisory committee has been formulated these three people are part part of that very committee who are going to advise the administrator in this task this task in this duty so ek administrator set up ki ek administrator ko select kiya gaya hai jo abhi resolution process dekhega uske under committee bhi banayi hai jo unhe advise karegi where we have people like um, shri r subramanya kumar and others so these three people will be advising him and uh, what they will do they will basically help up in the resolution process srei group owes around 18000 crores to 15 lenders including your axis bank uco bank state bank in sab se paisa liya hai but wo repay nahi kar pa rahe hain around 18000 crore worth of amount is pending to be paid to bank okay bank loans liye hue hain unhone 18000 crore ke jo wo repay nahi kar paaye hain iske alawa around 10000 crore ke bonds borrowings aur hain unki so around 30000 crores or more is the amount which is pending from their end to be paid so once this nclt approves the approval uh, approves the proposal the boards will stand su- suspended and a moratorium will be imposed and if the resolution is approved then the companies will start on a clean state and if not then there will be bids invited and their assets will be sold so once the nclt approves this then the resolution process will begin okay if it is possible to bring bring the company back on track then the things will be resolved and the company will be brought on track whatever money is recovered it will be used to pay or pay back the lenders but if nothing is possible agar company ko wapas function mein la pana easy nahi hai और कोई पैसा जनरेट नहीं हो पाएगा उनके असेट सेल करके या जो भी रिकवरी प्रोसेस है उनकी मैनेजमेंट इम्प्रूव करके तो फाइनली बिड्स इनवाइट की जाएंगी उनकी कंपनी हो सकता है सेल करनी पड़े एंड द मनी विल बी यूज्ड टू पे बैक दीज लेंडर्स सो दिस इज व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन अंडर दिस रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस सो इधर द थिंग्स विल बी रिजोल्व और द फाइनली द फर्म विल बी लिक्विडेटेड सो दिस इज वॉट आर बी आई हैज सुजेस्टेड थ्रू दिस वेरी decision of theirs so this was all for today's session i hope it was useful with this i would like to end up this session thank you so much